Hi guys, welcome to Pilates with me and welcome to your 10 minute or so feel good Pilates flow. All you're going to need today is your mat and yourself, maybe a little bit of water and do this before work or after work. It just, it feels good all around. You get stretched, you work your abs, you work your arms, you work everything and it's quick and easy, which is what we need in this day and age. So we're going to come on to our hands and our knees to start. I want you to open your knees, feet together, and just walk your hands into a nice little shell stretch. It's going to be a passive shell stretch, so you don't have to round your back here. You're just relaxing and melting into the mat. Just make sure that your knees are apart. It makes it so much more comfortable for the stomach and for the chest. Then you're going to scoop the tummy in, walk your hands all the way to the side. And then reach left hand on top of the right hand. So if you've gone to the right side, you reach that left hand on top of the right. If you go to the left side, you reach the right hand on top of the left. Walk it all the way to the left side. Place the right hand on top of the left hand. Feel it in the right lats this time. All the way down into the hip. It all depends on how tight you are. You're still scooping, you're still rounding that spine, taking deep breaths. And then walk it all the way back to the center. We're gonna roll ourselves up, come onto our four point kneeling position, tuck the toes under and push it straight into downward dog. Let's go into a bit of a march. So bend and extend one leg at a time, driving the heels down, you can even lift the toes if you want to make it more of a stretch. Then straighten both of those legs, push those heels down, shift the weight forward into a plank position and bring your right knee forward into your beautiful pigeon. So remember you want to try and keep your hips level here and you're trying to shuffle that left hip over to the left side. You can either stay on your forearms or if you feel comfortable, just lay all the way down. Let gravity do all the work here. That's the beauty about this pose. Then walk your hands up a little bit. And we're going to rotate onto the bum cheek of the bent knee. Keep that left leg straight and do a nice little side bend over towards that straight leg. You want to push that right bum cheek down. Feel it in the right side. Flex that foot. And obviously if you can't touch your toes, then you're just going to be grabbing onto wherever you can grab. Or you can use a towel if you want to. Release it. Flow back into four-point kneeling position. Tuck the toes under. Come to a downward dog again. Let's bend and extend the one leg at a time. Really getting all of those toxins out. Dropping the chest of the toes and relaxing your neck. Shift the weight forward, coming into a plank position, tight core. Left knee comes forward this time. And we're gonna come all the way down onto the forearms. If it feels comfy, then just spread and reach it down. Let gravity do all the work. Walk it all the way back up. I'm going to be a little bit rude. Roll onto the left bum cheek. So that's the bum cheek of the bent knee. And then you're going to reach over towards the straight leg and side bend. Now you're stretching that left side of your body. Your foot is flexed and your core is super tight. Just flow. And then return all the way back to the center. We're going to swing those legs to the front of the mat. And just scoot your bum closer to the end of the mat. We're going to come into our half roll back. So spread those knees and feet hip width apart. Reach up. Lock the shoulders down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to half roll it down. And inhale. You're going to lift up. Half roll it down. Scooping that belly button to spine. I know you can't see my tummy because I've got a little knot there. But I'm pulling it. I promise. 
So best you be pulling it too. If your toes lift off, don't stress about it. I'd rather you focus on the core than your cramping foot. We inhale, we exhale, scoop. Let's do two more. Scoop. We're doing quite a bit of a sequence here, so it's flowing. Now hold in that little position. Can you lift one leg up and then the other leg up? And then obviously grab onto the backs of the thighs and scoop. We tighten the tummy. We're coming into rolling like a ball. If you want to make it harder, reach the hands forward. If you don't, then you're just going to keep grabbing onto the backs of the legs. You're going to inhale, rock it back. Exhale, lift it up. Don't swing it up. Inhale, rock it back. Exhale, lift it up. Don't let the feet touch either. Scoop. I don't want to hear any like thud sound on the mat. You're rolling through each vertebra sequ sequentially. <laughs> Clearly English wasn't my forte, was it? We inhale, exhale. We're going to do five more. Four, scoop. Three, I should make a video of all my bloopers. Two. And one last one, one. This is where it gets a little bit harder. You keep it in your boat, lift your feet in line with your knees. And if you can't let go, that's fine. But if you can, reach the fingers to the feet, scoop the tummy and just hold your boat. You're gonna feel nice and strong here. I promise you guys one day this is gonna feel like absolutely nothing. It's gonna be so easy. Just hold it for another 10 seconds and then you're rolling straight into single leg stretch and then oblique leg stretch. Three, two, one. You're gonna slowly roll down. You can grab your knees if you want to. Don't let the chest touch. Take the hands behind the head. Inhale, exhale, reach one leg forward. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, reach the other leg forward. So the shoulders did not touch there. Exhale. You're putting the tummy in, lifting that chin up. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Hold the knees in. Now we're going to an oblique twist. So you exhale, twist to the one leg, straight to the other, bring it to the center, and then we swap. Exhale. Inhale, center, pause. So it's not like a fast movement where you're just crisscrossing as much as you can and hoping for the best. It's controlled. The knees stop at 90 degrees, the elbows in your peripheral vision, and then it burns so much more. Trust me, I'm feeling it right now. We go for four, three, two, the last one, one. Hold it in the center, pulse that chest upwards. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And then release it and relax it. Good job, guys. You're going to take your hands alongside the body. Find your imprint again and lift your legs to tabletop. Told you we're flowing, so don't have a break. Flex the feature, and I want you guys to inhale, drop the one heel down, exhale, lift it. Inhale, drop the other heel down, exhale, lift. Now drop both. Exhale to lift. If you cannot touch the mat with your heel without your lower back lifting off the mat, then you go halfway down or just a little bit. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. One leg, other leg, and then both legs. Inhale, exhale, both legs. One leg, other leg, both legs. Pay attention to your shoulders. Are they getting super tight? Or they're feeling relaxed. Both legs. Let's just do one more round, guys. One leg. Other leg. And now both legs. Hold it up. Engage the core. Take your hands behind your head. Lift the chest. And we do the whole thing again with the chest lifted. Stabilize that core. Go one leg down. Other leg down. Both legs down. Now it's a killer. One leg down. Other leg down. Both legs down. Just feel it in that core. One leg, other leg, both legs. Oh, that was three. One leg, other leg, both legs. Keep that chest, chest lifted and keep that lower back flattened to the mat. Both legs, lift that chin. One leg, other leg, 
both legs. Last round, we're doing six, one leg. Other leg, both legs hold. Now pulse your chest up one more time. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and just hold and release and relax. Good, no breaks, swing it up, guys. I know you feel like you want a break, but you can't have one. You're gonna roll over onto whichever arm you wanna work first. Just get into a nice little side plank position. So I want your elbow to come underneath your shoulder, knees slightly back. Now, whenever you lift into a side bend, you're gonna be kicking the top leg up. So it looks like that. So let's do it together. You're gonna to breathe in, exhale, push up. Inhale, come down, bending that top leg. Exhale, push up. Inhale, come down. Do it gracefully, lift and come down. You don't have to point your toes if you don't want to. You can flex your feet if you want to. This is four. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. This is five. Six, control the movement. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's just hold it up. You're going to pulse that top leg for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Rotate it onto the forearms and come into a forearm plank. Beautifully done, guys. Lock the shoulder, squeeze the tummy. You don't want to lift that bum too high and you don't want to arch. Tummy should be a little bit sore from those ab exercises. Hold for another 10. 9, shift the weight forward. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, release. Do not have a break. Swap it over to the other side. It's a good Feel good Pilates flow, guys. Flow, operative word being flow. You're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, let's reach over. Kick the top leg out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Kick it out. Eight. Nine and ten. Hold. Pulse that top leg up for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Again, we rotate onto the forearms. Kick that bottom leg back and hold your forearm plank. Lock the shoulders down. Shift the weight forward. Feel strong. If you're shaking, it's good. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release it. We're going to come back into our nice little shell stretch, but we're going to do it a bit differently today. So what I want you to do is come all the way down onto your stomach first. Just shift yourself up to the top of the mat. Thumbs in line with your nipples. Elbows in. Feet are a little bit wider than usual. Let's exhale, push all the way up. Do not leave the groin behind. Lean into a shell stretch, but your hands do not move. You inhale, tap the elbows in, come down. Exhale, push it up. Beautiful, guys. Just do a few of these. Again, we flow in. We pumping the blood through the body, pumping the oxygen through that body. Let's do five more. The more tired your arms get, the more you're going to want to drop that groin to the mat. Don't do it. Lift it up as a whole. Exhale. Exhale. Three. Two. And one last one. One. Lean into a proper shell stretch. Take a deep breath in. And then roll your spine all the way up. Come back into your four-point kneeling position. Only this time I want your arms to be wider. So they're just on the edges of the mat. You're going to squeeze your core and lift your left leg to a nice extended position. But I want this tummy tight and I want this hip to be in line with the right hip. Don't hike it. Now straight from here, do not bend and lean back. 
We're not in that position at all. I see it a lot in class. You're literally shifting your weight over, tricep dip, and pushing it back up. Okay. Simultaneously, as the chest goes down, the leg goes up. Let's go. For one, two, three, four, five. Lean forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Go halfway down and pulse it up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Extend the arms, pulse the leg up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And release, bring it back to the center. Last side, last exercise, guys. You're going to extend that right leg, lengthen through the crown of the head. Remember, you're tucking your elbows in. Let's inhale, dip, exhale, push it up. All those arms are sore. Dip, push it up. Dip, push it up. I don't know how I'm going to teach group class, guys. Ooh, five, six, elbows in. Seven, it's like you're falling forward and you're just catching yourself. Eight, nine, please don't break your nose. Ten. Go halfway down, pulse it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Extend the arms, pulse that leg up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. And release. Bring those hands a bit closer, tuck the toes under, and downward dog again. Whew, we feel warm, we feel good. Just end it off with an elephant walk. So I want you to walk your hands, or your feet, should I say, towards your hands. So you walk it one step at a time, trying to keep those legs straight as possible. Until you get into a nice little parallel foot position, feet directly underneath the hips. Just hang, just relax. Well done, guys. You're either ready for your day or you're ready to settle in for the night and have a nice little, little chilled evening. Roll it all the way up, scooping that belly button to spine, standing up nice and tall, rolling the shoulders back and down, and then releasing and relaxing. Yay, guys! I hope you feel good, and I hope you've got nice rosy cheeks like me too. Enjoy!